Hello, my friends, my fellow celestial navigators. I'm going to take just a minute to talk about these two Davis sextants, the pros and cons of each, uh, and very much specifically the con of this one. It's got a serious problem, in my opinion. Okay, this is the Mark 25, I mean, uh, the Mark 15 plastic sextant. Uh, I don't know, 180 bucks. This is the Mark 25 plastic sextant, um, uh, $230, I don't know, something like that. So what's the difference? Well, this is a basic model, has a little telescope you can put on it, um, but that's it. What you see is what you get. Now this one, well, okay, I might as well mention, this one has a split mirror see that mirror right there see it see that mirror right there that's a horizon mirror and it is it's split so you're gonna see let's say a star on one side and it kind of blends over somehow but nevertheless it's a split mirror and you've got to uh, Get used to using it. Make sure you have the sun on the horizon, because you're really only going to see the sun on half of it. But it's, it's, you know, it's not a problem. Stars, I never had a problem. Now let's look at this one. This is the more expensive one. It's got a telescope, a little, you know, uh, five power telescope, maybe I don't know. And it's got a light in the handle. You push that little black button, you put a couple batteries in there, and it's supposed to light up the arc down here. Well, I mean, that's great, but if you're out there and it's dark, and you need to light this up to read it, you got to light up the clipboard or where, whatever you're writing on. So I always use a little headlamp so that that light there is superfluous, is, is what I'm saying. It's just something that's going to get salty, corroded, and stop working after a while. So, no big deal to me. You're going to need a headlamp anyway. Now, the big difference between these two sexes is this has a whole mirror there. You see that? You see that whole mirror? It's called a beam convergence mirror. And it, um, you know, when you look at the sun taking a shot at noon of the sun it fills that whole thing oh it looks real nice it's beautiful and it works well for that okay I'll grant them that that beam convergence mirror for shooting the sun is great however I used this out in the middle of the Atlantic and I was looking at uh, Formahalt and I could see it with my naked eye and then I'm trying to shoot it with a Mark 25, and it became obscured. It disappeared. And um, I was mystified. Did I, ha did I have a problem? I came back. When I got back, I called up Davis, and I said, hey, what's going on? Did I have a bad, do I have a bad sextant? He said, no. The physics involved in making that beam convergence mirror wipes out some wavelengths of light. And it may obscure certain stars. Well, it sure did. He didn't offer me a replacement mirror or anything. He didn't offer me anything. He said, well, that's too bad. Well, I wasn't too happy. But I took this one out the other day and uh, looked at stars, and I was... Okay, I was dismayed. I won't use the word shocked, but I was dismayed at how much it dimmed the light from the stars. Of course, they don't tell you that. But that beam convergence mirror, however they make it, which I don't know, but it's not like the scope on a high-powered rifle that actually gathers light. No, this thing actually, you know, eats up a little bit of the photons 
it, it, it uses, it wastes some of the photons that's coming from the light source, the star, in, in doing the physics of whatever it does. So, bottom line, this, this, this sextant is not good for shooting stars in the evening. You've only got a limited amount of time. Uh, the horizon is going to disappear in a few minutes. You've got to shoot fast. You're trying to get a star in there and bring it down. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Bad juju out of this thing. This one, the cheaper one for shooting stars in the evening, is much, much better. Now, that being said, if you're strictly going to shoot the sun at noon, hey, this one's great. More power to you. You'll love it. But when it comes to shooting stars in the evening, go with the Mark 15. Okay? If you have any questions, you know, contact me at celestnav at yahoo.com. If you got any comments or questions, or, you know, add them to this video. But uh, I'm just telling you, that's the story. So buyer beware. <laughs>